Hello everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. Today is the episode for Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. Today I want to talk about how I don't think we need so many plans. I don't know, I'll phrase this something, <laughs> phrase this better afterwards, but um, I'm recording from Ber- Berlin, Germany. Uh, Deutschland, Berlin, um, and I didn't know if I would be here. I was on a project in Bremen, or outside of Bremen, Germany, and I didn't know I would be on the project either. I uh, ended up volunteering on the project and helped out for the week, and one of the trainers on the project that uh, I had been friends with before said that she was leaving the project early. She was leaving tonight instead of tomorrow. And she was driving back to Berlin. I was like, oh, she's going to Berlin. I wanted to go to Berlin. I couldn't figure out how to go to Berlin. I mean, I could have, but it was looking at the trains and stuff and just became somewhat overwhelmed with uh, some of the options and costs, etc. And I heard that she was going. I said, oh, she's going. Great. Because I had wanted to catch up with her all week. We never really talked. Um, because the project was so busy with so many people that I said, Ooh, a couple hours I could sit with her in the car. There was another person going as well. I said, this is great. I can go to Berlin. I can talk with her. Oh shoot. But I don't have anywhere to stay because, uh, her, she didn't have any place for me to stay. I said, that's totally fine. And then I reached out to some friends of mine, uh, that I had met in Africa actually. (laughs) And I said, yeah, sure. You could stay at my place tonight. What? Great. (laughs) And so um, I'm here in Berlin. I'm very happy to be here for the first time. I'm really curious to understand what the culture is like here, um, to understand how people interact with each other and to see how it's different than big cities in the U.S., to see how it's different than big cities in Africa, um, to see how it's different than big cities in other parts of Europe and how it's different than your like German cities and well, but also to see the similarities across all these different places. Um, and so just really curious to be here and explore. And I think sometimes the act of exploration is not so filled with plans and filled more with directions or, uh, openness, flexibility, maybe some, ideas on where one might want to go or what one might want to do, but really paying more attention to the moment and less about the future direction. Um, And a lot of people in my life tell me, you need a plan, you need a plan. And maybe I, I don't know if they, I don't know if I need a plan. I think they just want me to have results that look uh, the type of results that they expect me to have or they want me to have or, And I think sometimes I seem to do better getting those results by not having a firm plan. Even my friend on the drive was saying that sometimes, uh, I don't know if it was her or somebody in her life, planned to make something happen. It didn't happen. It didn't work. (laughs) Sometimes it works much better without the uh, strict enforcement of a plan. So, yeah, just reflecting more on how this seems to work a lot in my life, not always, but it's, it's not not putting things into very strict categories and setting them down to reach strict goals in the future, but more so focusing maybe on the process and being flexible and open to the uncertainty of what might unfold. And I wonder if for a lot of people this scares the hell out of them. <laughs> Um, and to me, it does to an extent too, but I think the fear blends with a sense of excitement and curiosity and those kind of mix together into, uh, uh, an amalgam- amalgamation, that's not the right word, <laughs> into a solution, I don't know, into me doing something anyway. So anyways, I am glad to be here. I'm curious to explore more and grateful that sometimes or more often than not, I, when I let myself not plan, 
so strictly because other people are trying to tell me I should plan so strictly. But when I let myself go with the flow and feel it, sometimes I get much better results. It's almost like they talk about this when training people how to golf, uh, when they, you know, how to hit the swing. If I'm thinking too much about the mechanics of the swing, it could be really hard to actually swing. If I'm thinking too much about trying to get the ball in the hole, then I may really stress myself out and not do so well. But if I'm, if I'm, if I'm just in the moment, if I'm in the zone, if I'm just, you know, setting up the shot and then I, I hit the shot and I'm just really in the moment, often a lot of things can go quite well. The outcomes can find themselves. And even if it's not the outcome that I necessarily desire, then maybe there's something else I learned from it. That's one of the learnings that I try to take away from this Train the Trainers event that uh, I was more formally involved with back in the day, but uh, was volunteering on this time, is that um, we don't know what we're going to learn from an activity that we do. And sometimes we learn we never want to do that activity again. Sometimes we learn, well, we want to do it, but we want to do it in a slightly different way. And it, it can be so hard to predict in advance what the outcomes are going to be, what the learning outcomes are going to be, and how it impacts our lives. So, yeah, so I'm here. Uh, we'll see what happens. And just really grateful to have so many people in my life who care about me and are excited to see me and whom I'm excited to see as well. So... Uh, curious to explore this with uh, some dear friends that I have here in Berlin. And yeah, grateful to all of you listening. And if you'd like to join, check me out, uh, check us out. And Jim and friends right now is not too many, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it goes. Who knows? It's not so much a plan, but uh, seems a little bit fun to try. Okay, good night for now.